Share Inspire podcast. This is episode 788. I'm Kristen Amdahl and we're here live in Southwest Florida in my studio this morning. If you are joining me live, please say hello. If you have been crafting, please uh, share it in the comments. I know that hearing what other people is Hearing what other people are working on is great inspiration for all of us, so I know we'd all love to hear it, and that reminds me, we should talk about Share a Project today also. Anyway, if you have questions for me, please also feel welcome to leave them in the comments, and if you watch the recorded version of the podcast, please also feel welcome to leave comments because I get notifications from those comments throughout the day as well, so however you watch the show, I uh, would love to hear from you. Uh, good morning, Julie and Joe, Thea, Angela, Judy, Grace, Lily, Val, Judy, Nikki, Thea, Christine, Angela. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I need to clean my glasses again. I just cleaned my glasses. Like, how is that possible that I didn't clean them enough? <laughs> hi, hi, Margaret and... Carrie and Debbie and Kathy, Carla, Rita, Lily. I think I've caught up on names. I even did that without my glasses. That's amazing. Oh, but that's because it's my computer too. There we go. That's better. Hi, Angela and Anna, Jackie. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Create, Share, Inspire podcast. If you're joining live, please say hello. If you watch the recorded version, please also feel welcome to say hello. Hello, Jill. Hi, Nikki. Good morning. Hi, Jackie. All right. Hope everybody's starting their day well. Hope everybody's warm and safe. I know there's lots of crazy weather going on all over the country. I hope you are home and safe. I hope you have power and I hope you're warm and cozy. Ah, hi, Tricia and Sharon and Lorraine. Good morning. Jill wants to know about my top right off the bat. No problem. This is the Margot top. Normally, it's on the mannequin up here, and I am wearing it instead today. I wanted a nice, springy, bright vibe this morning. I'm having trouble waking up in the morning still lately. There's just, I'm so sleepy in the morning, and I can't, for the life of me, figure out why? Uh, well, other than the norm that I work 100 hours a week, probably. But anyway, um, I'm more tired than normal. I'm having a heck of a time getting up in the morning still. But anyway, uh, I thought the bright color might perk me up this morning. So I'm wearing the white tank top bodysuit from my Amazon shop. I'm even wearing shorts. Uh, but again, it's wishful thinking. It's probably going to be too cold for shorts and I'll put jeans on. And I'm wearing all of this with the Margot top, which is an adorable pattern in my crochet pattern, uh, adorable uh, PDF download crochet pattern on my website. It's $1.99 and it includes lots of sizes, custom charts for each size. There are tutorial videos to, su to supplementally help you uh, through the pattern. Like I said, the pattern comes with charts and written instructions for lots of sizes. This is in Be So Baby yarn, which is $3.99 a ball, and this is in color Jade. I can show you where Jade is on the board up here too. Here is Jade if you're interested in how it fits in within some of the other greens and turquoises. And here is Jade over here as well. This is how it fits in with some of the rainbow colors. So I think it's always helpful to not only see a color in yarn and in a project and worn, but it's also helpful to see it in comparison to similar and contrast colors. So you can kind of get a feel for the tone and the shade and all of that good stuff too. Um, if you are looking to purchase Be So Baby yarn for a bigger project like a garment like this, I do also have a 10 ball bag discount on Be So Baby yarn on my website where you can get a discount when you buy 10 balls of the same color. And I think I said this is called Margot, M-A-R-G-O-T. So if you end up not following the link that Judy is sharing in the live chat comments, thank you, Judy, uh, you can also easily search for it on my website. The search function is actually a lot more robust on the new website than it was on the old website. I have to tell you, to be honest, there were times I could search for something knowing full well it was there and it wouldn't come up in the search. So if that was happening to me, I'm sure it happened to you too. And all I can say is I apologize. And 
and when you know better, you do better, right? So the new website has a way more robust uh, search function. And so if you, the search icon is in the top left-hand corner of the website. So if all else fails and you can't figure out <laughs> where to uh, go to look for something and you know the name or you know what you're looking for, just search it there. Um, <laughs> Ah, Joe made this top in cobalt in uh, Be So Baby Yarn and gave it to her sister. Do I have cobalt up here? I do. Cobalt is this darker, really bright, but darker shade of blue. So there's two bright blues. There's uh, cobalt and Mykonos blue. And as you can see, cobalt is the darker of the two, both absolutely gorgeous colors. Hopefully that showed up on camera. <laughs> if not, I may have to... There we go. There's where cobalt is up there. <laughs> I didn't realize I went off camera. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I know. I was going to mention something else about the website. So as long as you make an account, make a customer account, and you're logged in at the time of purchase, you can also get reward points for everything that you purchase. So it rounds up to the nearest dollar. So for a pattern you get a, that's a dollar ninety nine, you get two reward points. A ball of yarn that's well, I just said baby is three ninety nine. You get um, four points, and for a bag discount of be so baby yarn that is thirty four ninety nine, you would get thirty five points. Um, I also brought out be so toasty yarn. I wanted to talk about this a little bit today. I'm tempted to bring in some sneak peeks. Uh, I don't know if I should or not. Anyway, um, if I do, uh, we'll talk about some sneak peeks for March patterns. So two of the patterns for hopefully March are almost done and they're on mannequins out in the hallway to be off camera. Uh, but that brings me to Two reasons why I have Be So Toasty sitting in front of me. I thought you might enjoy seeing the contrast of what the yarn looks like in Hanks to what it looks like when it's wound into balls because we have wound all of this into balls now so that it's quick and easy to um, ship. And just so as a reminder, every time you purchase a ball of yarn that comes in a hank and needs to be wound into a ball. We do wind these into balls and includes, and it's included with an organza drawstring bag. Uh, what can we purchase with the points? Anything, Angela. The points are redeemable as discounts in the shop. And uh, yeah, Judy's making another reminder. Even if you had an account on the old website, that is no longer active or valid, you must create a new account on the new website in order to get any of the customer benefits. For those of you that think that I'm repeating myself, I apologize, but I can't tell you how many people are still not um, maybe listening. <laughs> I don't know. I get embarrassed when I have to repeat things regularly, but if I don't repeat them regularly, I know I don't not everybody hears me. Does that make sense? Oh, anyway. Uh, so yeah, the, the reward points work like cash when you, uh, and the website will tell you when you've reached a different level for getting a discount. And it'll tell you, do you want to use this for your next or uh, when you're making a new order and you have points, it'll say, do you want to use these points for uh, a discount on this order? Or do you want to save them for another order? So you get lots of options too, which is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love websites that have reward points. I am so excited to have it on my website too. That's one of my favorite things to do when I shop. I'm like, oh, reward points, what? And then, oh, and then free, free shipping when I reach a certain dollar amount too? Yes, oh, those are my favorite things when I shop online. So I'm very happy to not only be keeping free shipping at $75 for US shipping and $150 for international shipping, but to now have reward points too, so exciting. And not only that, but now we have a download library so that you can keep all your patterns in one spot. Oh, Judy, this has been so many months in the making. That's why I'm so excited, but I love shopping online too. So anytime I can make my website more like other websites that I enjoy shopping on, that's a very proud moment. Like these, just to be honest with you, uh, when I first started talking to Lewis about creating a new website and even brainstorming with Judy Weingarten before talking to Lewis about the new website, these features were things that I didn't think 
I had access to on a website. I thought these were things that you only got if you were a big company like Nike or whatever. It's always the one that comes to my Amazon. I didn't realize that a small business like me had access to these kinds of robust bells and whistles. So when Lewis first told me that these were op available options for me, like I turned into a Bugs Bunny cartoon character that went, <gasps> What? <laughs> so imagine, so you know how excited I get anyway. So imagine me hearing all that five months ago and having to keep the secret and not tell you guys for five months. Like, can you even imagine? <laughs> yeah, but wait, there's more. Judy Cotts, you know, you know. Yes, but wait, there's more. There's nothing I like better than an infomercial. Inf infomercial spiel and but wait there's more that always reminds me of ron popeil what was the thing fix set it and forget it anyway i i love infomercials those are that's yeah but wait there's more exactly and there's so many more things on the website that we've briefly talked about and some things we haven't been talking about uh but that reminds me something i wanted to mention in the beginning of the show someone had mentioned that they uh have made a project we have share a project on the website now and if you haven't been there lately uh what do we have like four people have progress pro progress projects on there now let me see i'm gonna stop for a second and check it out how many uh we have five so check this out i'm gonna send i'm gonna share a link this morning too what the heck I'm going to slow myself down here a second so I can share the link. The share project section on my website is where you can see other people's projects. Um, uh, yes, Anne, you will need to make a new account on the new website. The old website is completely unrelated to the new website. That's why it's so different. We actually had to build it from the ground up completely different on a different platform. So it the old accounts do, no, do not apply anymore. In order to get all the benefits of the new website, you will need to make a new account. Now, having said that, if you don't want to be involved in the new benefits of the website, that's fine too. You can still shop. You can still look. You can still do anything as a guest and not sign in. But if you want any of the benefits of uh, the account benefits, you will need a new account. I hope that makes sense. It's not a requirement. If you don't, if you just want to be a guest and be private, you absolutely can. But if you want the benefits and perks, the reward program and all of those other fun and the download library, you will have to have an account for that. So no pressure though, it's up to you. Whatever you want is fine. Uh, hi, Jalea. Uh, let's see, hi, Edna. Does anybody have any questions before we move forward? Sharon's working on a shawl, wonderful. That reminds me, so I would like to make something and be so toasty for spring. And before I show you the colors side by side from wound into a ball to the Hank version, which you will see some beautiful differences between the two and similarities, I wanted to put it out there to see what you guys would like to see me design for new patterns in Be So Toasty for Spring. So far, I've worked on two pieces in Be So Baby, two cardigans. I would like to make something in Be So Fine Bling and do something in Be So Sporty as well. But I thought doing something in Be So Toasty would be fun as well. And while I show you the colors, give me your ideas now. What would you like to see in Be So Toasty Yarn for Spring? We could do a big rectangular shawl that could double as a big voluminous scarf. We could do a shrug. We could do a garment. We could do a lace shawl. Like, I don't know, what would you like to see? And while you're thinking about that and sharing your ideas, I will start showing you the colors. So this is Color Felicity, which is the more warm tone of the two pinks. There are two pink yarns. One of them has a lot more violet and uh, cool tone pinks. This has some rust and some salmon and some orangey warm tone bases with some peach, but it does have a little bit of the orchid raspberry color in it as well. So it really has some gorgeous tonal variations from light to dark. And then I wanted to show you, this is what it looks like wound into a ball, which is sometimes a little more of a better representation of what it will look like knit and crocheted. Because you see the colors are more 
are more mixed when you see it wound into a ball. So this color is Felicity. Then we'll go to the other pink, which is the cool tone pink that goes more into purple. We've got a pale petal pink and it goes into the raspberries. So gorgeous. This color is called Myriad. Julie would love a shrug. Thanks for sharing. Uh, please keep the ideas coming. I'm definitely interested in hearing what you're thinking. I was thinking shrug too, to be honest with you, Julie. Uh, so this is color Myriad and you can see some of the variations show up differently here in the center pull ball from the Hank. And then the next color we'll do is Ember. This is, this is the color that I was inspired to make because of cantaloupes and prosciutto that I was eating last week. I would love to go back to Costco and do that again this week. I haven't yet though. Oh, I ate all my kimchi last week too, so that had to be good for me. Anyway, um, Costco has the best kimchi I've ever found in a store. Uh, I don't know if you have kimchi uh, in your Costco, but if you do, it's fabulous. Anyway, this is color ember and it has some bright warm orange and some cooler pale orange and peach and it even has a little bit of a dark green kind of like the veins you would find in the skin on a cantaloupe. This is called ember. Then the next color we'll show is vapor. This has bright turquoise, a darker uh, a darker electric blue and it has some darker green like a forest green in there and then some silver gray and creamy white so so pretty i see a, a vest request to a sweater or a cardigan i've already done two cardigans so i'm thinking that maybe doing a cardi vest which is the rectangular wrap with armholes would be a good idea or a shrug, something a little more drapey and maybe a li little less fitted. That's what my thoughts were, but I'm definitely open to your ideas as well. I like brainstorming with you guys, it's so fun. And then the, this color is called Eclipse and this is violet and this has some of that raspberry orchid color as well and definitely goes into more of the blue violet as well. So this goes from this takes purple from the blue-violet spectrum to the red-violet spectrum, which is so pretty. And then just as a reminder that uh, Eclipse, Myriad, and Felicity all share that little bit of orchid raspberry color. So if you wanted to do some sort of a transient or uh, transition of not quite gradient, but a really subtle transition of color, you could do something with all three of these. This is, what did I say? This is Felicity, this is Myriad, and this is Eclipse. And then I'll show you those side by side as well in the Hanks. Now these aren't all the colors that I have either. I have all kinds of solids and semi-solids in Be So Toasty yarn as well. Someone was asking what Be So Toasty is. This is a number one fingering weight yarn that is a blend of superwash merino wool and bamboo. It is very lofty from the merino wool and incredibly soft and drapey from the bamboo. It is an incredible blend. Super soft. For those of you that you have used it, you can uh, attest in the comments. It's the kind of yarn that is super soft on your neck if you have, um, now if you have wool allergies, obviously this is out for you, but if you just have like wool aversion because you don't like the guard hairs or you don't like the, um, the itchy, not itchy, but um, prickly hairs. This doesn't have it. It's super soft and it's comfortable against even your sensitive skin like your neck. I have wool aversion, not scratchy. Thanks, Grace. That's the name. I, that's the word I was looking for. Um, I have more of a wool aversion, not a wool allergy. And so when something is really scratchy, I am uncomfortable wearing it around my neck. But I have to tell you, I made the minky cowl from 52 Crochet Gifts in Be So Toasty yarn. And it is so so incredibly soft on my neck. Even when I get warm, it does not bother me. That's when I usually notice if uh, an animal fiber is going to bother me is when I get warm. That's usually when I would get hives or something. And um, this yarn does not do that. It has to be super soft yarn without guard hairs for me to not 
have it. Um, Judy describes Toasty as if Be So Baby and Be So Fine had a child. That's not a bad description. Absolutely. It is incredibly soft. Grace agrees that it's very soft and not scratchy. Uh, Linda agrees the Cardi Vest would be great because of the drape and flow. Absolutely. It's... Um, Judy says, loves the yarn, very soft, no wool problems with it at all. Great. Lily agrees she loves it too. Yeah, it's beautiful for lace because it has such great drape. The drape is great from the bamboo side, and if you wanted to do any texture like with cables or something, it has a nice crispness from the loftiness of the wool that it's great for texture. So if you wanted to combine cables and lace, this would be a not only fabulous, might be a perfect yarn for that. Oh, Grace, it's one of your favorite yarns. That's so sweet. Beth says a shawlette would be a good idea, too. Joe says it. Uh, she loves it uh, over other wools as well. Great. Thanks, you guys. Oh, which reminds me, if anybody is so inclined, no pressure whatsoever, you can write reviews on my website now for products. So that would be yarns, patterns, anything that's for sale has um, a review option. Now, if for those of you that were interested in helping out with reviews on things that you've purchased and that you love and you didn't know where to find it, on any given product, it's in the tab. So like there's a tab for more information and there's a tab for reviews and something else. So you would have to scroll down below the initial description of the product and then there's a couple of tabs and you can see review there. And if you're so inclined, you can leave a review of any product that you've purchased that you you love there. Obviously, if you're not happy with something, contact me or Judy. Uh, I would rather um, I would rather you be happy before you leave a review. Obviously, so contact me. Unless you're feeling the need to write a five star review, contact us. Why you don't feel that way? I work very hard to make sure everybody is extremely happy with everything that I produce. So um, anyway, if you're inclined to write reviews, you can find them in the tab section at the, if you scroll down a little bit on any of the product pages. All right, what else was I gonna mention? I mentioned Share a Project, I mentioned the yarns. What else? Hmm, there was something else. Hi Luna, good morning. Lots of other requests for projects for, um, so, so something drapey. Looks like most of the requests are for something wearable meaning something size. So whether we did a Cardi vest or, uh, oh, sneak peek, that's the Donna you remembered. Hi, Rennie, good morning. Okay, so I have I have both of the Be So Baby cardigans that are, well, one, the Margot Cardi is almost done. It just needs, uh, almost done from the sample standpoint. Obviously, there's still a whole lot of work writing the, I have the charts are done the charts are done for both. So I need to write the patterns, size the patterns, make the schematics with all the sizes, get all of that tech edited and proofread, then do all the photography and then pull the whole thing together and then put it on the website and all that good stuff. So there's still quite a bit of work to do, but it's not March yet either. Okay, so the first one this one's not as far along as the other one, but this is the side-to-side -side Tunisian cardigan that I did in five colors of Be So Baby Yarn. This is Silver Lavender, Prince, Periwinkle, Indigo, and Navy. And so we have the two fronts are done, the back is done. I need to sew all these together and then make the sleeves, and then we're getting close to being done on that one. And then this one, is the Margot cardigan. This one is almost completely done. And I have the fronts, the back, the sleeves are done. I've made a belt, but I preferred the belt as a corset tie on the front. And the feature on here that I'm, I think, most excited about are the side vents that I actually put edging on and overlapped them. There's something about an overlapped side vent that I think is so sophisticated and beautiful. See how they overlap? Can you see that up close? Am I close enough that you can see that the edging on the side vents overlaps? I'll wait and see if someone says yes, otherwise I'll have to. Grace, you can see them. Okay, the vents are gorgeous, right? Ah, I'm so excited about this one. Uh, I guess I could try it on. Ah, no, I'm not trying it on today. I wanna try it on in a mirror first. 
Anyway, we'll do that another day. Yeah, they're both gonna be super pretty. So they are gonna be the two projects in Be So Baby for spring. I am working on some other designs. I wanna bring something out in Be So Toasty, Be So Fine Bling, and maybe Be So Sporty as well. Ah, thank you guys, thank you. Yeah, I'm very excited about them. Uh, Rennie lives in Europe. So you finally got your yarn. That's wonderful. Thank you, Julia. Thank you. Hi, Charlene. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, everybody, for your great comments. I appreciate it. Yeah, so this is the original Margot top. Uh, it comes, the Margot top pattern that I'm wearing is the pullover version that would be worked in the round with raglan shaping. Uh, this pattern comes with options for making it this length top or a longer dress, the short sleeves or long sleeves. And then this will be a completely different pattern showing how to use that stitch pattern to make it into a cardigan. Uh, yes, I'm working on a circle vest in the Be So Fine gradients as well, um, but I uh, need to do some surgery on it first. And I'm not even sure that I want to record this particular surgery. I'd rather do a surgery on something um, I don't know, I'm feeling like I don't wanna do it on camera. Isn't that bad? Which means I either need to do it live <laughs> or I need to do it, um, or I just need to do it off camera and share a surgery on something else. Thanks, Judy, for reminding me about the live premiere coming in a few minutes. Let's see if I can find the right hat for it. If I don't see the hat, oh, it'll be in here. So we've got a beautiful live premiere video coming in a few minutes today. It's for the Heather Crochet Hat Pattern. And this is another pattern from my newest book, 24 Crochet Hats. So if you are so inclined, in 33 minutes, you can watch the live premiere of this video with me on here on YouTube. And if you're not, uh, if that's not a convenient time for you, once we're done with the live premiere, you can also, here we go, here's the Heather hat. You can also just watch it uh, at your convenience because it will continue to be a video on my YouTube channel. So this hat is a project in Be So Sporty Bling yarn. This is Be So Sporty Gold Bling in color Mulberry. How gorgeous is that? Oh, it's so pretty. I'll try it on in a second. First, I want to tell you that it comes in several sizes. You can do 16 inch, 20 inch, or 24 inch circumference. And this, the pattern comes with written instructions for all those sizes, plus gorgeous charts. And the supplemental video tutorial will guide you through the pattern in case you have any issues with the pattern. I will try it on for you. <gasps> I love the stitch pattern. You can see the stitch pattern better once I put it on. The thing is with um, fabric when it's doubled is that there is no contrast when you put a fabric on top of itself. So photographing hats can be really difficult to see the stitch pattern unless you put something between the layers. Same with a garment. If I were to put this garment if I were to photograph it on top of itself, just lying flat, you wouldn't see nearly as much of the stitch definition as when there's a contrast layer underneath. So for me to show you the hat flat and then try it on, you see a lot of difference because you can see the, um, you can see the beautiful texture of this stitch pattern. It's a super fun stitch pattern that has lots of chains and it has lots of chain loops that end up looking like daisy petals, which I love. I just love it, it's so pretty. And so it's not very difficult to make either, and you'll see that when you read the pattern. You can download the pattern as a single hat pattern for $1.99, which will include the chart and all the sizes, or you can order it as part of the paperback book with 24 hats in it, or you can get the ebook as well. And if you do not want to order directly from me, it's also available on Amazon Prime as a paperback all over the world in every Amazon market. I got sand on my table the other day. I brought stuff in from the beach and somehow I got sand from the beach on my desk. Whoopsie. <laughs> Thanks, Julia. I love this color with the bling too. I think it's so pretty. 
All right, so if you can watch the video with me live, great. If you can't, it'll be there whenever you are, have time to watch it. Or if you just want to dive right into the pattern, you know where to find it as well. It's called the Heather Hat. You can find it in the book or as a single pattern download on my site. Uh, and that's where you'll find Be So Sporty Bling Yarn as well. And this is a one ball project. Well, thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend a few minutes here with me. I hope you enjoyed chatting with me about yarn, comparing the colors from Wound to uh, Hank. I hope you enjoyed Show and Tell. I hope you enjoyed Sneak Peeks, chatting with me and everyone else here. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow, same time, same place, unless you join me in 30 minutes, and I'll see you there too. Bye.